watching Digital Rev TV Labs, a program all about the science of photography, presented by me and him. For the science. Now we have been set a challenge by the producers because we don't mind getting our cameras wet, but they do. So they wanted us to set a good example and show you how to weatherproof your DSLR. Here we go. They said that we were to give some DIY tips on how to protect your camera from various types of rain, from mild to presumably something a bit less mild. So we got cracking on making our rainy day solutions. Now this is the first test which is apparently supposed to mimic light rain. Unfortunately, it's sunny outside, so the producers have sent us here. And we're going to use this beast. That's not shower, light like shower, isn't it? Well, kind of. Oh, 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 whoa. No, 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 we can't use this. We can't use this. This is illegal. Illegal. $5,000 penalty. Yeah. Well, the producers got loads of money, haven't they? No, so. no, no, no. Oh. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, seri right. Serious, serious. Mm. That was a coincidence that yeah. somebody put a uh, watering can just yeah. there. Oh. Scientific. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, to protect my camera from the rain, I'm just going to do something which I usually do in reviews. Just use an umbrella. What? You're just lazy, isn't it? No, this works. Especially these long umbrellas, all you need to do is this. Oh, then let's and see. It just works. Let's see. Having both hands on the camera is useful, especially if you're a caffeine addict and don't want your photos to look like you were drunk when taking them. Keep it simple with as little amount of stuff in the way between you and the camera. That's <laughs> windy. Okay. Finish. We use uh, we use this raincoat okay. and uh, put a put a coffee co coffee thing on it. Uh, oh, <laughs> the lens is not actually covered, so got it's rubbish. It's image quality. So I put my hands here inside the camera. I actually I actually holding the camera itself. So I can still use all the functions on the camera. Yeah. Oh, I can't hold anymore. Are you ready? Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Uh, yeah, I can still take photo. This has quite good, maybe quite I should good, use it. it. Uh, but this hasn't lasted quite so well. That's wet. No, it's working. The trouble is, rain doesn't always fall quite as predictably as this. We were told to brace ourselves for something a little bit more testing. We've quite often shot in the typhoon rain, but not all cameras are typhoon proof. Unfortunately, the weather is quite nice today for a change. So, we've had to resort to a different kind of typhoon rain. Car wash. Car wash. With typhoon rain, you have to really experience it to understand how much rainfall you get. With over two inches of rain per hour, it's the sheer amount of water chucking down that can really do some damage. Not sure how many inches of water per hour the car wash could manage, but it gets your car clean quickly. So anyway, what's your method? Easy, it's just a sit back. Just put the camera in. 
water tank, air tank, amphibian tank. Oh, what? You copy me? No, you, you copy me. You, 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 you. <laughs> you must have seen me. No, I think of this myself. I bought this first. It's ridiculous. Tell you what. Uh, if you wait here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something else. What? Whatever. Do something else. See. Uh, go. Go for shit. Check this out. This is Mark Ooh, II. What? The bag's not included, it's just not dry yet, so uh There's some jelly thing, what's that? Silicone gel. Well sil you know that for the bathroom. Showers and stuff. You just went for five minutes, so it's it's you like don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. So I did the whole lens. It's now a prime lens. Forget zooms. Done the whole body. I never think you can still access all the buttons. You seal the whole camera with silicone. Whole camera. Screws, uh, buttons. Well, anyway, to find out how good it really is, put it in. Come on. Two DSLRs strapped to the bonnet of a car and then putting that car into a car wash. What is going to happen? Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Let's try this before. Yeah. So, good luck. Oh, you, it's coming. You'll need it. Oh, it's a typhoon. Typhoon's coming. Typhoon 8. Oh, it's now it's a little bit shower. Oh, God. Unfortunately, we can't actually see anything. Yeah. So, <laughs> um... Oh, lovely weather today, isn't it? Now it's a lot shower. It's... Oh, when and cannons can send off now. Raining car wash. Raining car wash. Uh, in Cantonese, it's raining dog shit. I'm thinking with LMB, it's all wet. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are pretty, pretty dry here. It's got fantastic. Aircon. Yeah, aircon. Yeah. She's, she's standing out there in the hot, uh, probably getting sprayed with water. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Oh no! <laughs> brushing, brushing off all your ceiling. Silicone ceiling. Ooh. No use. It works bathrooms, then it's... Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, this typhoon! Typhoon this is, is the wind. coming! Can, can you feel the white rays? Yeah. It actually feels like typhoon. <laughs> the chaps at the car wash were kind enough to give us a discount, so I thought that we could take one or two more car washes, just to be sure. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? How can it be? <laughs> I don't think your waterproof... I don't think your waterproofing has quite worked. Oh, it's got holes on it. Oh, made in China. Dodgy, that. It doesn't make sense. It's got holes on zip bags. There we have a major fail. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Maybe death thing? Yeah. I think it was that as well. Anyway, anyway, whoa, well, that's the end of that test. My <laughs> suit's all wet. So, uh... Just as I was about to put the battery in to test my camera, we were told to go to a location for our third test. How much worse could this really get? Okay, the last test. Yeah, this test is a bit dubious because producer told us to do a full immersion test. Uh, we've got this fountain here, which is not actually a fountain because there's nothing spraying. And we're supposed to put these in there. Into the water. Now, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure that this is not going to survive this. And I but don't want us to die. Yeah, but and camera waterproofing is not supposed you to do underwater tests. Yeah. And, and I mean, underwater... Just whether, I'm not doing this. I'm not. No, you are. No, you've you... got a bag. <laughs> give me your that, bag. That, Just that's your not bag. the point. Just give me your bag. Why don't, why don't you do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're>... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. No need to do a test. If you want to get a waterproof camera, buy a 5D Mark II and an L lens. Yes. Let's go home now. Let's put your camera in. <laughs> We've been asked many times about getting weatherproof or weather-resistant DSLR. People were interested in shooting in the rain. 
Well, if you're careful with your equipment, then you can get away with the most basic of protection in many circumstances. But the trouble is that some people have a belief in something being completely weatherproof. Even manufacturers are careful with how they word it because there's so many things that can go wrong. Our 5D Mark II with L lens has been out in all sorts of weathers and survived the drop in water, but we wouldn't advise you to do the same. Just because you have something that you think will protect you from the elements, it doesn't mean that you should tempt fate, unless you're us. Don't make jokes, no laughing matter.